Hey guys, what's going on? In this video today, I want to show you how to use this special plant tonic called seaweed. So by using this special plant tonic, you can increase the longevity and survivability of your plants. So now I'm going to show you how to use it. So guys, this is the liquid version and very simply, you want to read the back of the instruction label and it's going to be something like this. You're going to pour a couple of capfuls into your watering can like that. And this is a powdered seaweed version. Now, in my opinion, this one is the one you want to get simply because it's a lot easier to apply and you don't have to worry about any liquid. So most of the time, they'll come with a scoop like this. And for this, I believe it's half a scoop per nine liters of water. So we'll put that in and you can see that's a lot more easier to apply. So if you're in the market for one of these, definitely get the powdered version of seaweed. So guys, regardless of which version you use, every time you apply it in the water, you just wanna mix it in with a stick like that. And that's gonna help get everything incorporated. Now guys, that's how you prepare seaweed. And those are the different versions you can get. And now I wanna show you five situations in the garden where you might be able to use it. Situation one, and that is when you plant out vegetables and herbs in either frost or hot conditions. So before I put my vegetables in here, all I'm doing is just quickly digging up the soil and adding a little bit of coconut coir, and that's just going to help with the root development. So right now in Australia, I'm in Victoria and it's really cold. We're in winter and by using the seaweed on these plants, it's going to help them get through the very cold conditions we've got right now. And all I'm doing here is just teasing up the roots. And once again, by using the seaweed, that's gonna make sure that there's no transplant shock with the roots there. And the same thing applies for very hot situations. When you're in summer, by using the seaweed, it's gonna help protect the plant from extreme hot conditions. Also, it's important to note that when your plants are really small like this, anything you give them is gonna be really helpful. So by using seaweed, it's gonna be a great benefit. Situation two, and that's when you're planting out trees or any bare root tree in the middle of winter. So you can see here, I'm just digging the soil over and it's very nice and loose. And now I've got my Algerian oak tree and that's what's gonna be going into the soil here. What we're doing again is just quickly teasing up the roots and that's gonna allow the tree to grow freely without any constraints. So the tree's nice and secure. We're just backfilling with the soil and we're ready to apply our seaweed. Because I'm planting this oak tree in late winter, those roots are gonna remain in the soil idle. So what I wanna do is use the seaweed to stimulate that root growth below. So then come springtime, this tree has a good chance of growing nicely for me. Situation three, and that is using seaweed on top of any organic fertilizer you're using. And that's gonna allow the nutrient uptake to be higher. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a couple handfuls of worm castings around my garlic. And then once again, I'm just watering it in with seaweed. So that's gonna allow the nutrients to flow down and get activated very quickly. So what seaweed does is activate nutrients even quicker than before. So for me, every time I use organic fertilizers, I always use this practice of watering in with seaweed. Situation four, and that is using seaweed to help seeds germinate even better than before. As you can see here, I've got some little gem romaine lettuce and all I'm doing is just adding a couple seeds per hole that I've made here. And then we're backfilling that with some worm castings. So once I've done that, I'm just giving it a little pat down with my hands to make sure that the seeds are firmed in and now I'm ready to water it in with seaweed. So very simply, what we're gonna do is take our watering can and we're gonna go gently over a couple of times like this and by doing that, that's going to allow the germination rate to be highly successful. If you've got some old seeds and you're not sure if they're going to germinate, then I highly recommend trying this. Situation five, and that is using seaweed on propagation plants. So once again, because it's winter here in Australia, the roots of anything that's propagating right now is not actively growing yet. So by using seaweed, we're stimulating the below growth, which is the roots. And by doing that, you're gonna increase the success rate of your cuttings. So there you go, guys. That's how you use seaweed in the garden. And by doing this, you're gonna ensure amazing plant vigor, plant health, and plant protection. That's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, drop a comment below, drop a like below, subscribe to the channel. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Happy gardening.